Well, you don't have to have a degree in botany to know that many of the ornamental grasses really come into their own in the later part of the summer and the fall. Many of them put on a really great show during the summer months with their exotic looking foliage and then at this time of year they break into flower to give a long lasting display. But do you know that this is also a very good time for planting them too? And the neat thing about that is that when we go to the garden center we can pick the ones that really catch your eye the ones that stand out as if they might be things that we can try in our gardens. So we're seeing them there in the garden center in all their glory and within a few hours take them home and plant them in our sites. Take for example this fabulous selection of our native switchgrass. This is Panicum ruby ribbons a lovely selection that was developed at the University of Connecticut and one that we featured as one of our showcase plants on our website gardensplendor.com a few years ago. So if you want to find out all the information about it, go to the website, click on the showcase plants and you'll be able to get the whole scoop. Now it only grows three to four foot high, has this upright and yet semi-pendulous habit and of course with these gorgeous leaves and movement that I'll get when they move in the breeze, I'm using it to add both color and interest, texture and movement to this area in the bed. And to plant it, it's just the same as I featured in many of my other videos. You dig a good sized hole that's probably about twice the width of the pot, dig it a bit deeper than the base of the pot, Add in some planting compost or soil conditioner to the base of the hole. Make sure that it's chopped up in the base of the hole and also put some around the backfill. So when you take the plant out of the pot and put it in the hole, you're backfilling all of this lovely compost so that the roots grow away nice and strongly now in the fall. So as you see, it's really very easy. It doesn't take much time at all. All I've done is dug a hole and put in a lovely grass. I put it in at about the same level as the surrounding soil, then just tidied up a little bit. And I made a little depression around the neck of the plant because now one of the most important things, especially at this time of year, is to just give it a good drink of water. And when you put that in at the base of the plant, it makes a very nice little reservoir there to hold the water and then it will slowly dissipate down into the roots of the plant and it will get off to a great start. And so to recap, fall is a magnificent time to admire grasses, but it's also a great time to bring them home and plant them in your garden. The weather's beautiful, the soil's nice and warm, and when you plant them now at this time of year, the roots establish really quickly, and if you get a nice big instant plant, you can create an effect immediately. And there's just one thing that we need to do now, and that's labeling our plant. You see, these Garden Splendor plants come with their own special tag. It's called a Remember Me marker. This is an anodized permanent marker that comes attached to the pot and with a pair of snips you can just go through, snip off the top of the little plant stake, then take the permanent marker which has both the name of the plant and the website address on there and then just place it at the base of your plant so that it will remind you of the name of the plant but also because this is a plant that is going to be trimmed back in the winter time when it goes dormant, it will also serve to remind you of the position that it's planted in. So you see, it's really easy and a great time to plant ornamental grasses. This is David Wilson. Enjoy your gardening. It's good for us and it's very good for our environment too.